Okay, so for the triangle, our area is base times height, same as a parallelogram, say as, kind of the same as a rectangle, except it's divided by two. Now, why would that be? Well, let's take a look. So here's a triangle. Look, and I'm gonna draw it dark. This is a triangle that I want the area of. Now, what I can do is I can say, you know what? This triangle is actually part of a rectangle. And you know what part it is? It's, look, like if I took this, look, so I want this area, right? Notice that this, right, that area right there, it's the same as this area. Now, I don't want this area, right? So I want this area, but I only want half of it, this half. Same over here, let's put the stripes the other way. This area is the same as this area. But I don't want this whole rectangle. I only want the half of it that's a triangle, right? So if I want the area of this triangle, I want the area of this rectangle, which is length times width, but I only want half of it, right? And so the key is though, right? And that's true, sometimes triangles are shaped like this, right? And then in that case, what I want is I want half of this rectangle. Okay, so the triangle is just half of like the rectangle that it kind of fits inside of. So I'm always looking for the base and the height. And here's what you need to remember. The base and height are perpendicular. Perpendicular. That means they meet at a right angle. Okay, so for example, in this triangle, you might be tempted to think, oh, well, here's the base, it's the bottom of the triangle. But the thing is, you actually have to look for the two, right? Like if this is the height, and this is what you happen to be given, then this is the base, right? You have to kind of pretend that's the bottom, and this is the height. So the area would be the base, nine times the height, over two. And in your calculator, like you can kind of just do that all as one step. So that's nine times 6.4. You can, you can press enter here and then divide by two, or you can just divide by two. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, 28.8. So in this case, my area is 28.8 square yards.